on Monday. Oh, yeah, so. Good point. So you managed to get two games on. Yeah. Well, I think this is an open goal. Sorry? It's been really cool for you. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Go ahead, Damien. It's, hey, John, it, I mean, the game like this, yeah, it's scoreless, and all of a sudden, Calagari goes down, and you're sort of in survival mode there. How do you think you guys sort of handled that, those moments and also the night as well? Yeah, um, obviously going down to 10 men at the end of the game, um, I actually felt like we were still kind of the stronger or looking to score the winner more than they were. They were kind of breaking away, um, which is obviously yeah like, uh, a good sign seeing as we were down a man. But um, in general, the, I thought the game was a really high level, especially first half. Both um, teams played with a lot of intensity, both moved the ball around really well, both had um, clear ideas of how to play, like positioning and stuff. So it was um, who was going to kind of give in first and neither, ta neither team um, gave anything away. Um, so I think that's something we've got to be proud of because maybe there's times in the past where, um, yeah, maybe something didn't go quite right for us and then we end up losing the game. But today, we, if we weren't going to win it, it's good to take the point. But that they perhaps had more opportunities than you guys did but those didn't often lead to shots, and uh, I think that uh, bringing in Yoshida has been really big today. Just your thoughts on that. Yeah, obviously his experience really helps us. Um, he's very vocal, organises really well, very experienced, reads the game really well, um, just every aspect of it, and has a lot of aggression as well. Um, I found a lot of trust in him and, and him and me very quickly. I think playing together we feel very comfortable. and. Um, like you said, they did get into some good positions, but then our kind of defending in and around the box from everyone really was really strong. Um, in tight spaces, they played some really quick sort of one-touch stuff and we managed to, apart from one maybe, but yeah, we dealt with most of it. Um, and honestly, they're a really good team. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes we've lost games to, to lesser teams um, and they've come here and they've been on a roll. They've been on, in good form and they've come here um, Put in a good performance, and I thought we matched them every way. And honestly, probably if anyone had had to take three points, it would have been us. It does it make sense to call the defense more quiet with Yoshida back there? I mean, again, I think picking up on what Scott said, you guys seem to recover well, and it's usually the transition moments that have got you guys in the past. Transition moments seem to be relatively quiet tonight. Whenever yeah. they did try to break. Yeah, that's one of their main strengths. We talked about before the game was um, obviously that um, counter attack threat. And they have a lot of pace. Um, they're very clean with when they do break um, away. And yeah, just having Maya and Chris, and we try and organise as much as as possible behind the ball. Um, and I thought we did that really well today. Um, they tried it a lot, and I felt like you know ninety ninety five percent of the counter attacks we stopped. Um, and that also comes from obviously being in good positions in possession as well. So when we do give the ball away, then everyone's in their right position and we can win the ball back. When you look back at the week that you guys have, because it's been seven days, right? You played three games there, you get seven points out of it. Do you feel like this keeps the momentum going or, or not winning at home? Does that hurt you guys a little bit? Honestly, I think um, having three games in a week, um, going away to San Jose and a Cali derby, um, playing a decent Chicago side, I think obviously we have, we have to be relatively happy with seven points. We knew going into the last 11-12 uh, games of the season after the League's Cup that we needed to get off to a good start. Um, otherwise, suddenly, you know, you can find yourself detached a little bit and that's simply not happened. We've, we've put in some really good performances, scored goals, kept two clean sheets uh, out of three games um, and we're finding a little bit of momentum. So, um, yeah, I mean, clean sheets definitely breed confidence in, in the team and um, I think, yeah, I think uh, we, we should be very happy with seven points out of nine. Hey Jonathan, um, today we saw Yoshida and uh, Bavinka start together for the first time. We've seen a couple of uh, different center back pairings in the last couple of months. Um, from a goalkeeper perspective, is it easier, harder to kind of manage that, knowing that these guys are kind of playing together for the first time in a way? Well, to be fair, neither of the guys, obviously Maya's come in, but then the two guys that he's played with, Chris and, and Zab, I've played with many, many times, so it wasn't exactly anything new for me um, or for the team. These guys are both really experienced, they've played a lot of games, um, especially at, obviously Toronto, where they played together and um, yeah, it's obviously also really impressive that Maya can come in off the back of uh, no pre-season, not been here very long and play three games, three 90 minutes in a week, um, keep two clean sheets. So yeah, obviously everyone's um, contributed to that, um, but I don't think it um, changes too much whether it's Chris or Zab or Tony or you know whoever's at the back. Hey Jonathan, obviously you know now seasons in MLS are long. You could break it now however you want to, but 
it just seems like so much has happened for the Galaxy this year, starting from the beginning, the pressure, the front office, the Chicharito injury, we could go on and on. Mm -hmm. um, but it does seem like it has been a legitimate turnaround for the team. I just wanted to know internally if it does feel that way and what may be behind it. Yeah, it does. I think uh, we, we do feel the pressure of the fact that we're almost in playoff um, feeling football already um, and that we know we need to get results. Um, we are catching up off the back of a, a slow start. Um, but I think that, you know, if you ask any of the players in there, I feel like we have found something. We found uh, a momentum, a way of playing, um, a good defensive so uh, solid base. Um, so I think we're in good shape, but obviously, like, I'm, like I said, we are catching up a little bit off, off the back of a, a start that we, we had so many injuries, we had fan protests, you know, not much atmosphere within the stadium during that time. And yeah, it's been so much to deal with. Um, but yeah, it's, it's no excuse now. We, we are where we are. And we have to simply put points on the board and, and get into the playoff places. Anything else? Thanks for your time. Thank you, guys. Good to see you.